Hey guys, it's Miss Leslie with Shades Out of School Time from New Hope Bell Elementary. As you can see, I am back in my kitchen, so that can only mean one thing, another cooking video. Um, I did one a week or two ago on an easy Mexican style dish. This time I have quite a few bananas that are just a little too ripe to eat. And sometimes I think I do that on purpose. So I have an excuse to make nothing else but banana bread. So that is what we're gonna be making tonight, homemade banana bread. Let's get started. All right guys, here are the ingredients that you are going to need to make for your homemade banana bread. Now, these are what call for the recipe that I'm making. If there's something you don't have out of this, you can always look up substitutions. Um, for things that you may need. That way you're not having to go back out to the store if you don't have to. But you're going to need one stick of unsalted butter, some vanilla extract, some baking soda, two eggs, all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, milk, salt, and of course your bananas. I'm going to use three. That way it has that more of that banana flavor than if I used less. So these are the ingredients that you need. Again, if you're looking around your house and you say, well, I don't have the two eggs. I think it's applesauce you can substitute for eggs. I can't remember for sure, but you can always look up substitutions for things if there's something you don't have. So let's get started. So while the oven is preheating, I thought I'd show you what pans you can use. I'm gonna be using a loaf pan. These are two different sizes. I mean, they're pretty similar. This one's a four and a half by eight and a half, and this one's a nine by five. That's if you wanna go with your classic loaf of banana bread. You can also get the pans that make the little mini loaves. You can also make muffins. It doesn't have to be um, a loaf exactly like what you think of when you think of banana bread. So if you don't have a loaf pan at home, you can use a muffin tin. Or like I said, you can even use the tin that makes the little um, miniature loaves. But this is what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using one of my loaf pans.
All right, guys, here's my banana bread all done. I did put it back in the oven. You saw um, at the end I did the fork test and the center was still a little mushy. So I did put it back in for another five minutes. And then I took it out, I let it sit on top of the stove to cool. And then I removed it from its baking pan onto this plate. And I went on ahead and sliced it. I cannot wait to eat it. I love banana bread. I can promise you this loaf will probably last me. What's today? Monday. I'll say it'll be a surprise if it makes it to Wednesday. But at this point, you can eat it plain. You can add some butter. That Land O'Lakes honey butter is amazing. You can use normal butter. My dad and I, we sometimes like to legit put it in a bowl with milk and eat it like cereal. You can judge me if you want. But at this point, you can eat it however you want to. I love banana bread. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple recipe. And I will see you again on the next one.